Hello guys and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I want to show you how to use the E-Trig in combination with Matini. So today we want to create a door that we can open and close with E. For that I've made a little scene, this here is a little button, this here a wall and this is our door. Now click onto the door and do a right click. Then convert it to a mover, so convert static mesh to mover. And with the static mesh selected, go into Kismet, do a right click, new Matini. Then double click onto the Matini. Another right click, add new empty group, type in a name, what you like. Another right click, add new movement track. Okay. Now, click onto the edge that you want, because our pivot point is in the middle now, but you want it at the edge of this cube here. So I want it down here. So go with the cursor to this position, do a right click, pivot, move here. Okay. Now press enter one time. Then move it to 1, we have to set the pie up another time, because I forgot to snap it, move it snapped, and rotate it, like this. Ok, and press enter. Now you see, we have a door animation, that's good. Now close the matinee, place a trigger where you want it, so add actor, add trigger, and scale it up a little bit. Like, let's say this here. Okay, with the trigger selected, go into Kismet, do a right click, new event using trigger 1, used. Now connect the used with the play. No, sorry, wrong. Click onto the trigger, trigger, deselect the aim to interact, and down here at the max trigger count, you have to choose 0, so infinite. Now we have to add a switch because we want to open and close the door, and when I just connect the used with the play, it just opened it one time, and that's it but we want to open and close it. So right click, new action, switch, switch. Now in the switch, here at link count you have to type in 2. Now with two links. The first link you have to connect with play and the second link with reverse. And connect the used with the switch. And in the switch settings, here at B looping, you have to enable the B looping. Ok, that's it. Now try it out, play from here. Ok, E, it opens. Oop. Come on, where's the E? Okay. This doesn't like. So, link count. Here, yeah, max trigger count zero. Reverse. Yeah, everything's okay. Dum -dum -dum. And yeah, try it out another time. And it opens. And it doesn't close. What? Okay, rebuild passes. Probably that's it. Open, close. Yeah, the passes. <laughs> open, close. Open. Du -du 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 okay, and now this doesn't have a collision. To solve that problem, just double click onto it. And under collision, at static mesh component. No, under collisions. Oh, sorry, what well, I'm talking here. Here, at collision type, you have to choose block all. Okay, try it out, play from here. And now, bam. And close it. Okay, this, this, this doesn't want it, so play from here. Open, close, open, close. Dum, 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 dum. Okay, that's it, how to use the e-trigger combination with Matinee, and yeah, thank you for watching. 